Right, well, we're going to have to do this in one take because uh, I have to upload this from my Windows XP laptop. It's too hot to have the projector on. So, and I've got to warm up my uh, cold water in the uh, sunshine in the window there. We. Oui. Because I've got bloody toothache. What an arsehole, eh? The one thing you definitely can't sort out uh, without massive risk of getting this shit virus. Uh, fucking, uh, I need a filling in my back tooth. What a cunt. So, I don't know if I'll be able to repeat my uh, very, very professional uh, anti-spectrum Amstrad etc. MSX. Especially the British uh, shitty ZX Spectrum port job MSX games for the uh, clamshells. Now these, are, I'm pretty sure these are on the shelves in my games room in my old house. Uh, I remember seeing a review of this in Zap sixty four. Uh, this century, I might add and uh, I was probably reading uh, a scan on my computer actually of the pages so I, I actually bought this mm, more than 10 years ago so yeah as you can guess it's a musical program for the C64 it's an extra large size case And boot has come to help, so there you go. That's the difference in size. Well, not quite. That is the difference in size. Look, I'll go the extra mile, mate, innit? it? So I can't tell if the uh, LCD screen is showing an out of focus image. Or if it's my uh, knackered retinas. <laughs> so yeah. <coughs> mm. It's a bit of a cheap dig, but uh, yeah, there's not really any other 8-bit computer that you'd want to uh, use a program like this on. Certainly not on the uh, 48K Spectrum or the Spectrum Plus. Yeah, and even the Spectrum 1 to 8 and onwards with the uh, crappy YM sound chip. It is crap. That's probably uh, the biggest mistake that uh, Jack Trammell ever made by going with that sound chip for the Atari ST. Now obviously uh, Jack Trammell is, is not a technical person. As far as he was concerned it had a three channel uh, sound chip in there and uh, that was good enough. So actually the case is pretty mint on this. And uh, actually, so is the manual. Very nice condition. There's no way I can read that. The camera's not going to uh, zoom. Obviously, these are all on cassette. Yeah, uh, there's not many clamshell games that come on disc. Apart from Racing Destruction Set, which I don't fancy playing. So there'll be no review of that. Right, straight in with the best. There's some acceptable versions of Tapper on other machines. Um, I can't remember if the Atari 8-bit was a good version. I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but the C64 music is classic. As is this game. This, this is a really good game. I had this game on the C64 uh, back in the day as a kid. Never played the arcade machine though. Um, I can't remember what year this is, but it was a really fun game on the C64. Not the best graphics in the world, but the graphics are better than uh, Up and Down, which was another Sega conversion. I don't actually remember Tapper being a Sega game, but it says Bally Midway there, so I don't know why it says Sega. The arcade winners, Sega. Uh, 
Well, I was going to say something negative about US gold, but mm, from the start, when they were importing their games, uh, and they were picking good games, uh, at least three quarters of the time, certainly more than half the time, uh, US gold weren't bad on the C64. And who can remember, who can forget the classic uh, commando incident with my uh, traitor uh, best mate from school who uh, caved in and bought an Amstrad CPC and then refused to accept it as a piece of shit compared to the C64. Yeah, you can certainly do better word processing on the old uh, Amstrad CPC with the uh, 80 column mode. But can you play Commando better? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that these graphics are actually like drawn in. Yeah, they're not even like proper screenshots. They're painted in. <laughs> yeah, famously only has half the levels. And arcade games don't usually translate well to home games. But let's face it. This game has got everything. It's got like, um, you know, no frame drops at all. Smooth scrolling. The graphics are quite nice, actually. And, um, of course, the music. Uh, these do actually have um, instructions, but I don't know if this one has. I've got about two or three copies of this. Yeah, come on, man. It's the one with the instructions. And the instructions are mint condition, so that's good. I'm sure I could have sworn it said Space in Invasion. On some other version, but anyway, just the space on the top. So yeah, that's an iconic game. Fucking shit on the spectrum. And... Uh, me and my mate, actually no, I better tell the story, right, we're at 7 minutes in, shit, better, better talk quick, right, my mate had Amstrad, I had Commodore 64, we went in the shop, we saw Commando, he bought it for his Amstrad, I bought it for my C64, my house was closer to the market, we walked back, went to my house, loaded up uh, the Commodore 64 version, brilliant music, blah blah blah, played the game, fantastic game, uh, even I had to play it on a shitty quick shot two joystick. Uh, the auto fire came in handy. Went then uh, went back to my mate's house. He loaded up the Amstrad version. Uh, the small screen come up, and uh, that music came on, and I couldn't stop laughing. I laughed so much. My mate uh, said to me, "Geez, you can have a heart attack or something." And to this day, that makes me laugh if I go and watch a YouTube video, the Amstrad CPC version, booting up. Yi Ya Kung Fu. Did have Yi Ya Kung Fu. Thought the graphics on it were rubbish. Gameplay's alright. Um, it's fast enough. But the graphics are just, yeah, they're just average. Very average conversion, graphically. Music has got fuck all to do with uh, the Kung Fu or any kind of uh, Eastern martial arts. So. Oh, look, this is a BBC Micro version. Yeah, <laughs> even more shit graphics in. So, yeah, really, it doesn't matter how good or bad the C64 version is compared to the others. It's not a great C64 game. Spitfire 40. Never had this. I think I've got more than one copy of this. Don't really like these kind of games. Even on the Amiga. It's just... Yeah. 3D before the uh, PlayStation and Saturn is a bit shit. Sometimes it's alright on the old uh, 3DO. Rocket Roger. Yeah, Roger, rock it, mate. Rock your rocking horse. Yeah, well. Had a few uh, alligator games. Logo. Uh, is it Son of Blacker that came in the uh, one like this? 
Um, what was the other one I had? Guardian, I had Guardian. Eagle Empire, yeah, I had that as uh, one of these clamshells. So yeah, I can't really tell you much and the camera is probably not going to be zooming properly. Seems like a cross between um, Phantoms of the Asteroid, which has one of the best Sid soundtracks ever. And uh, what was that other game? Son of Blacker, graphically, it reminds me of that. Is it a Tony Crowther game? Looks very four colours. I don't think they put the uh, programmers on there. Fucking should have. As um, Lance from Phone Shop would say, if I could be bothered to put the clips in. Oh no, we've got shitty BBC games mixed in here. 3D Grand Prix on the BBC. I can't read that. Oh, other software, right. Yeah, there's no screenshots. Oh, there is one at the front. Looks as shit as pole position on the spectrum. Should be honoured to be in there with a C64. Is this a C64 version? I bet it's a BBC. Yeah, I've, I've lumped in uh, the better condition uh, BBC games into this box probably. To stop them getting damaged. Must admit, never played this on the BBC. So I couldn't tell you uh, how responsive it is to play. Damn fine game on the Atari and C64. And uh, as uh, Gans Teeth asked me and I replied uh, to the last shit video like this. Um, you know saying uh well if you didn't have a c6 no he actually said if you had to have a spectrum or amstrad which would it be and i said uh yeah in uh in the christian slater uh speech at the start of true romance when they're talking about elvis you know what i mean mate uh i'd have to go the amstrad Spectrum is just shit. The Amstrad is just not really good as good as a C64 for arcade games without the hardware scrolling. Uh, but if I had to have another machine, it would definitely be the Atari. But obviously the C64 would not have to exist because I used to love uh, analog synth music as a kid. Well, the instruments on there. The music was pretty shit most of the time. Um... Yeah, I've got no idea what this is. Um, right, it's a C64 video. Get the fuck Are these all fucking BBC now? It is. I thought the dustbin men had been and gone. Can you have a nice... I, I like the way they've got the Atari joystick. Uh, thing there, picture there. But it's not just uh, very similar, that is the actual joystick uh, icon you have on the Atari cartridges. Yeah, BBC only had one uh, proper joystick, which was a Competition Pro, because the BBC has some weird connector for joysticks. Uh, most of the joysticks are like uh, the old analog joysticks from the Pong consoles. Can you do a decent uh, Spy Hunter on the uh, 8 colour palette of the BBC with software scrolling? Not as good as the Atari. Not as good as the slightly not as good as that C64 version. But at least the C64 has nice music. Enough with the BBC mate. Oh, even worse, Acorn Electron, which is a fucking, uh, uh, twice as bad as a BBC. Or oh, the Electron is half as good. Ah, yeah, depending on your point of view. Yeah, well, uh, no, mate, no, no, right. Okay, split personalities, this can't be BBC, can it? You know what, I can't fucking read this. Is this, uh... 
Where does it say? Ah, there we go, Commodore 64. Right. What can you say about this? Uh, some crappy uh, puzzle slider type game using the uh, spitting image uh, name. May have had this on um, a compilation. I, I wouldn't have bought it. You can see from the screenshots. He's not my kind of game. Right, Neo Clips. This is the uh, the fat clamshell. Bloody hell, we're up to 15 minutes already. But it's a small box, isn't it? Mm, PSS were a bit hit and miss on the C64. Never had this. Can't remember what it looks like. Let's see if we can work out what kind of game it is. You are the good guy. Damn it. Freedom Fighter and... Renowned star pilot. Oh, it's looking good. Could be a shoot em up. The bad guys. An alien race. Blah, 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 blah. Being the good guy that you are. Oh. I bet you it's just a shit shoot em up. Right. Ooh. Ooh, this is one of the best uh, Commodore games you've never played, never heard of. I found this game on the uh, C64 during the uh, emulation era of the late 90s. Is there a screenshot on the back? It's really good, actually. It's sort of like a, a non-scrolling version of Stampede. Or even Sheep on the PlayStation. Um, you just have to play it. The uh, the routines for moving the buffalo around, they're really good. And I did a video of this and uploaded it, oh, probably a decade ago. Uh, pretty early when I had my uh, second YouTube account. I can't remember what happened to the first one. I think I simply uh, forgot the uh, password and then Google bought up YouTube and uh, whatever well I had a YouTube account with uh, C64 videos before uh, Google bought YouTube so but I've never found those videos never ever but yeah this is uh, one of those uh, very early games that's uh, it's a lot of fun actually it's a simple game but it's a lot of fun and you probably never heard of it. Oh, Commando number two with the uh, broken case. Which also has instructions. So it's not all bad. Yeah, these little stupid things here, they break off. So. Get the elastic bands out. Combat links. This would be for the BBC because it's... Uh, BBC, yeah, I was going to say on the C64, it's a massive clamshell case, like A4 size. I used to enjoy Combat Links on the uh, C64. It's probably uh, the closest I've got to that kind of game. Um, obviously, you're playing this, imagining your uh, string fellow Hawk, or the, uh, I can't remember the name of the character in Blue Thunder. But I actually like that. Now this has got to be C64 again. No! Bloody hell. <gasps> Dirt! Sinclair Spectrum Pitfall 2. <laughs> Disgusting. I touched the Spectrum game. For fuck's sake. Dragon 3264. What kind of fucking bullshit packaging is this, Mad Commodore? Eh, time is limited. What if these are all like a... Oh my God. If this was on the C64, probably buy a new engine for my car. Not that it needs it. However, it's a shitty Spectrum version. Yuck. 
fucking horrible on the Spectrum. What you want is the uh, C64 version with the uh, great music, great gameplay. If you don't like the arcade, you're not going to like it on any machine. If you have to play it, you should uh, play it on the uh, C64. That's interesting. They've got the screenshot sideways. Now, this is an Amstrad game. A non-scrolling Amstrad game. So it could be all right until uh, you see the words Amsoft Gold, which is obviously uh, some tacky sort of attempt to instill confidence. Let's face it, Amsoft didn't have any fucking standards. A lot of their games were utter shit. Unlike Commodore, who had some really good games on the VIC-20 and C64, so does this mean it's a VIC-20 game now? Bloody is Vic 20 tracks never played it, you know, and is Llama Soft. Funny thing about Llama Soft games, their uh, clamshells always get a bit wrinkly on the uh, the plastic sheet on the end there. See, I don't know if you can see that, and both sides as well, actually. Yeah, 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 you can sort of see it. There you go, see. Ooh, look at this expert camera work. So I'll have to check that out actually. Uh, ooh, Crazy Kong, but I had the, uh, not the square clamshell like this, I had the more padded version. Fucking horrible game this is, really is. I'm sure this, oh no, it was Vic 20. Vic 20! I could only imagine what a fucking shit fest pile of wank the Vic 20 version is. Look what I did with a C64. This is a real hodgepodge, this one, then. And I've got two copies of it, just in case it doesn't load. Is it, is it this? I think this is a BBC uh, release. Yeah, BBC B computer, OS 1.2 Plus. It's all right. But we're here to talk about C64 games and there are no more. Oh, this is on the BBC. It's a compilation. I think you could actually... There was a, a five-game compilation by uh, Alligator on the C64 as well. Sadly for you, it is not that one. All Laser Zone on the VIC-20. Yeah, if you had a VIC-20, this is a good game to have. And I love the artwork on this actually. Again, look, you got the wrinkles. What the hell's going on? It's two more games after this one. Match Day, which is a shit game. ZX Spectrum owners rave about this game. It's fucking wank. Anyway, it's the BBC version. So at least it's uh, a bit more colourful. Again with a bloody uh, Acorn computer, isn't it? This one specifically for the BBC again. Did Spy Hunter not come out on the Electron? Handling on the C64 version is like a bloody Skoda. No, uh, it's just saying called uh, Jet Boat. It's for the BBC. I'm trying to pick up the uh, name Software Invasion. Right, okay. Yeah, have I got two copies of that crap? Wow, we finished a bit early there. Yeah, the other Spy Hunter is for the uh, BBC. So it'd be interesting to uh, check out some gameplay videos, actually. That was 3D Grand Prix, the other one from Software Invasion. Why is it just pure white on the bottom? Couldn't afford the uh, extra black ink on their printers? No idea, mate. Ah, the BBC games stink a bit. So, yeah, but actually, going back to uh, yesterday's video, there was a game I showed on there for the C64 called Hopeless. Hardly anyone's done any bloody videos about that. Please, if you know how to play that game, then uh, do a video on it. Nice one, mate.